All right, we're back. Another season, pro football, football show, Chevy Silverado. Chicago, couldn't be more excited to be back. Yeah, Will, how are you feeling? Boys, girl, this season is going to be awesome. But who is this jabroni? That's the mystery guest. Different host every single week. I love that idea. Let's go. Welcome to the Pro Football Football Show presented by the Chevy Silverado Week 10 of the NFL. We are officially in the new Chicago offices. Dan, these everything about this place is unbelievable. This is incredible. It's a dream come true. Happy you guys are here. Uh, yeah, it's a dream come true. It's, it's like going to recess every single day. I mean, the way that the boys came in today, super early, shooting free throws. You've already been in the golf simulator. Like, I mean, it's truly like just the boys club, which is amazing. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And I've realized I need to work on my shot and my swing, so I'm in the perfect place to do that. <laughs> yeah. It's a, cool. it's, I mean, it's, a fan, it's a fantasy yeah. factory. Yeah. It really is. That's a, that's a perfect way and to put it. And we hired a great golf pro. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. I, I did Shout hear. Shout out the boy Jerry. Yeah, the, when I He's walked over. tight ship. When I walked over before the show and Taylor was taking swings and Jerry was like, nope, that wasn't it. Wasn't even looking up from his phone. He could yeah. just tell by the sound yeah. of the way that you were hitting the ball. It I wasn't mean. it. That's the guy I, you need. Yeah. It is. I left an need. empty cup there, and he checked me. He's like, hey, you need to put that in the yeah, trash. No, he's yeah, no, we, we, we run things different around here. Unless <laughs> you want to play <laughs> bar. I ship. Yeah. As the owner of the golf course, I told Jerry, if, if it's not kept clean, then I'm going to have to hire the, or fire the golf pro. So he knows. Yeah, he's ready for it. Right, right when he was first swinging on it last week, he was like, I need to be the golf pro. I need to talk with Dan. We need to have a conversation. <laughs> like, all jokes aside, this place is unbelievable. But, Dan, I have to know, how long is it until you have, like, a big cat pile somewhere? Oh, well, if you notice, if you walk around the office, I don't think this made it into the intro video. Uh, my pile is actually uh, decorations for a lot of the office. There's a wall that has, like, probably 100 hats on it. Those are all just from my pile. There's some like random clothes, jerseys, everything. So yeah, we just basically took my pile and decorated the whole office with it. But will you start a new pile? I'm gonna try not to. Okay. I've told Spider okay. to, to, <laughs> to help me stay on top of it, but you know. Try. Yeah. You just wanna keep plans. this place clean. What is it, the best of plans of mice and men often go astray? Look at that, I'm already firing. You are. You guys don't that even know what that is. No, I, I That's a book. That yeah. was a I just quoted a book. A book, it, that we are firing at all cylinders. Sure. Everybody's been oh. arguing this morning. I know we had to remind ourselves, especially me and Will, that it is pro football. We've been arguing about college football, but this is the NFL show, Taylor, mm -hmm. and I hate to bring this shit up for you. The last time you were here, you went two and ten. Yeah, that was that was oh. hard. And if you if you look sorry. back, I'm if sorry. you look back at the intro of the last show, I was talking pretty confidently about how <laughs> I've been the best guest and all that. So the only way to have a comeback game is to have a game like you did in previous last last time I was here. So okay. all I got to do is show up this time, and. Come correct, which I believe I have today. Yeah, the the guests have been great. I do I, every time Tom puts this on the sheet. It's a previous appearance was two and ten, and I really didn't want to have to do that to you because you know I know you are wearing your Michigan shirt. It's yep. it's tough right now for the the Michigan fans out there. But uh, I wouldn't say that. Okay. I wouldn't say that. Well, it is. I think we're exactly where we need to be right didn't now. Didn't cover against Purdue. Pro right. football show. Pro football show. Well, and we'll talk about that I later. Yes. But I, I will I say, <laughs> um, I've learned my lesson. I've come back here humble. And I'm ready to have a bounce back notes. game. Yeah, I, I, got I know the notes. I've got stats. The, you I can already see. I'm, I'm, to, looking well, your, I'm looking don't at your look stats. At my stats. I'm not going to reveal any of his stats, but he's already 0 for 1 on the, seat, on the, on the week. <laughs> okay. I've so, already seen it. So really? You've yeah. seen it for the, the first game of the week? Yeah, he's so, already 0 for so 1. So let's just go right into it first then. First game of the week? Yeah, first game of the week. He's already 0 for 1. The storyline games of the week presented by the Chevy Silverado. It is the Browns and the Ravens. The Ravens favored by six. Oh, you're. What's the, the incorrect stat over here? No, it's not an incorrect stat. He's going to pick the Browns. He's wrong. <laughs> okay. But let's hear it. Uh, Ravens are 7-3 and three in their last 10, but they're 4-6 and six against the spread against the Browns. I think that uh, I think the Browns are coming along. I think Deshaun Watson played a good game last week. It was obviously against the abysmal Cardinals, but he, sats out, he sits out the fourth quarter, throws for a couple touchdowns, looks good. They move the ball up and down the field. I think the Ravens win this game, but I think the Browns cover plus six. Mm. Okay. So, last week, a little bit deceiving because the Cardinals are the worst team in the NFL. That's not true. There there's, two Giants. Teams, there's two teams playing tonight as well. Maybe the that Tommy would argue DeVito that. Giants. The Bears have two wins. I mean, the Cardinals have one. That would be able to, you would be able to okay. argue. Okay. Panthers and Bears are also in that conversation. So, the Cardinals are very, very bad. Clayton Toon was making his first start. He was so overwhelmed against that Browns defense. The thing that makes me scared about the Browns on their offensive side, 
Amari Cooper's the only guy that feels like he's getting open routinely. The Ravens can, can take someone away. The Ravens' defense has been playing lights out, out of this world. The other thing is, they now, and I actually wanted to ask you this, they now have lost both tackles. So Jedrick Wills, who Browns fans don't love, but he is your starting. Zoopy just went like this. Uh, he's a Browns fan. He's talented, but, he's talented, but lazy. But okay, so doesn't matter, right? If you don't like him, that's fine. But now you have depth issues. And now people are going to say, hey, Big Cat, how are you? How do you find all this time? You're doing the invitation, you're doing all this stuff. You got three kids. You're reading Browns beat reporter reports. And yes, I am. The Browns are talking about taking their uh, current left tackle, Dewan Jones, who's actually been playing well. He came in for Jack Conklin. Jack Conklin went out in the first game of the season. Rookie, playing well. They're thinking about putting him on the right and then James Hudson on the left, who is now starting his first game this season because Jedrick Wills is out. That is an offensive lineman. You can't switch up positions like that. It depends on the individual. Some guys can do multiple things. They say okay. the, the more you can do, the less you get paid. That's what they say in the league. Yeah. And if you have a bunch of guys that are rotational cats, you can do a left tackle, right tackle. Me, personally, I was a one-trick pony. Right. I could literally do one position, and that is it. Who's the guy? Who's their guard who's, like, really good? Who, uh, Wyatt Teller. Wyatt Teller said this again. I'm reading the beat reporters. <laughs> Wyatt Teller had an interview because Kevin Stefanski's like, yeah, we don't know. We're going to switch it up. Uh, Wyatt Teller's like, it's not that easy. You can't just say, like, we're going to switch up positions right. here. And the fact that they don't even know it, we're taping this on Thursday, um, that also has to hurt where the guy's like, I don't know what I'm playing yet, right? It does if like, – Wyatt Teller's just the starting right yeah, guard. Yeah, yeah, no, he's, 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 he's he cemented. He's just talking on behalf right. of the left tackle, right tackle switch up that that's not an easy thing that you can just – snap your finger and say, yeah, you go play right, you go play left. It's not, but if you're not a start, if you're not a starting five guy in the offensive line, you've in your backup role, you've got to know both sides. Right. And mostly every position except for Okay, side. okay. So which I right. feel I feel more comfortable about that. One thing I know you're talking about the offense a lot. Yeah. Jim Schwartz. Yeah, on no, the defensive side. Listen, the the Browns defense has been phenomenal. I'm worried though, uh what I saw against the Cardinals, the Browns didn't run the ball that great. They were 2.8 yards per carry. I feel like these this depth thing. So Jedrick, Jedrick Wills aside, when you start having to get into your, you know, backup and backup backup on the offensive line, there definitely is going to be a drop off at some point. The Ravens defense is phenomenal. They just rotate guys in. They sat they they get pressure on the quarterback. I don't think Deshaun's going to have an easy day. I have the Ravens. Where do you stand, Will? You could look at this as two division games in five days. Potential trap game, should we say? Oh. Potential? Mm. Keep talking, Will. Oh, Cleveland, look, <laughs> Cleveland got whooped the first time, but they had uh, Dorian, was it Dorian Thompson-Robinson yes. as a quarterback? Sure. Three interceptions. Uh, Jim Schwartz, I, you know, I think the Browns can keep it close. You talk about the depth issues on the O-line, but – I believe in Coach Bill Callahan. I think he's a next man up mentality type cat. He's going to have those guys, you know, brainwashed as much as they can be. Yes. But I believe in Coach Callahan. They've struggled in the run game. Yeah. But Deshaun Watson is playing better, and he's way better than uh, Dorian uh, Thompson. Callahan's Robinson. sitting in the meeting right now, a team meeting, going, no one believed in you guys. No mm -hmm. one wanted you guys. Me. This is your opportunity to make money. <laughs> yeah. the, uh, uh, big Cat doesn't there's believe a, there's in you guys. There's a picture of Dan. Yes. <laughs> Question Bill Callahan's going, oh, can't play for me. Can, can, yeah. can, can, we got to move you. Can trap games exist in the division? Because yeah, I, absolutely. Are you sure? Because, absolutely. I mean, look, the AFC North is the best division in football right now. All and four you, teams. You, and you so. said that at the beginning of the year. All four give teams your would be before. in the playoffs if the playoffs started today. And I think the Browns, like, the Ravens, no, they can't drop this to the Browns. They have to stay ahead of everyone. Like, they're fighting for the one seed now. They're talking Super Bowl now. I just think the way the Ravens are playing and – their running back, Keaton Mitchell, who uh, I think it was his first game or first real action last week against the Seahawks, perfect complement to what they have with Gus Edwards, where you got a guy now who can make some home run plays, what they probably have been missing in the run game. I just think the Ravens are playing at an unbelievable level. The, Lamar he, Jackson MVP? Lamar Jackson MVP. His stats haven't been, like, in, insanely good. Lamar MVP? Yeah. He's having a good year, but no. Okay. I – the Ravens are just playing like they're just such a good defensive team. They're, they're, their offense is starting to click under Todd Munkin. They have all these weapons. Uh, Zay Flowers is awesome. He's nasty. Awesome. He's nasty. So, I, yeah, I think the Ravens just have too much. Jerry, how do you Plus feel about six. this game? Yeah. Hey, it's a good thing for the Steelers, you know. Uh, one of them's going to lose. Yeah. So, you know, thing. the Steelers haven't had help in uh, three weeks now. You know, Steelers win games. Everybody else wins in the division. It's just how it's been going. So, somebody's got to lose, so it's good for the Steelers because we got the – the Packers this week, so that'll be a beat down. Okay. Mm, nope. Taylor, I know we're riding Browns. Some decent news. I don't know how much you can put into this. 
We need but this. they've split the last two years, and Browns are 2-0 in the later games. Mm. So, okay. so you're taking and Browns. I'm going Brown. I'm taking Browns to cover. Okay. And they need to look at the, the film and see how bad they did the last time they played right. them and say, this is what we got to work on. Jim Schwartz is in there these challenging things. that. Yeah. Exactly. And go back to 2019. Divisional game. Titans versus Ravens. <laughs> go back to 2019. What about it? Jim Schwartz. Yeah. He was doing some consulting work for the Titans. Oh. And we handled Lamar okay. Jackson. Okay. Just say, okay. I'm just but saying. But this is a different Lamar Jackson. This is it? They ha- yeah, he won they- the MVP that year. Right. But well, the difference I, there is they had a bye week before, and remember the, uh, on slips and picks, I was like, the only thing that kind of scares me about the Ravens is when they are at a momentum team, they are very hard to slow and, down. And, and the Ravens True. that year, the bye week I was calling fraudulent all year. Ravens fans were mad at me all year because I thought that it was a situation where if you can keep Lamar Jackson in the pocket, he's not able to make those throws. He wasn't there yet. Uh, now they have all the weapons. Now they actually can throw the ball. Now they can beat you multiple ways that they haven't always been able to do with Lamar Jackson. That's been the story for his entire career. Get him weapons, get him weapons. Now he's got the weapons. Lamar Jackson's been a a topic on this show since the creation of this show. So Mm. every year it's a a different evolution of it. But now that we have Jerry, I mean, Jerry, do you think Lamar Jackson's going to win the MVP? I know you said he's played pretty good. I'll tell you this, he's not going to go to the AFC Championship game. I know that. There you go. Okay. Have to have Jerry win. His last bad that. game was probably the Steelers, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I'd take Burrow over him in the playoffs in a heartbeat. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. But Burrow, I would take probably number two behind Mahomes. Yeah. So it's not like a... Yeah, I mean, he's not... It's not gonna, like a diss. No, I mean, he's just not going to... He's just not... He's not on their level. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, there's... Jerry, the voice of reason. On there's, the le- there's levels, right? There's Pat Mahomes. Just below him is Burrow. Yeah. You know, just below that is probably, I'd say, uh, Josh Allen, Justin Herbert, Actually, I put Jalen Hurts in that category with Burrow. Yeah. But then after that, it's a big drop off. You got Kenny Pickett, then you got Lamar. There it is. You got, you know, that's where it gets out I, of control. I knew, I knew yeah, that's that if I just, happens. Yeah, yeah. I knew that if we went to him for a second, that spiral would happen. Let's go to the 49ers at the Jags. The 49ers favored by three. Both teams coming off of a bye. Dan, where do you stand on Brock Purdy and the 49ers? I, I think they are going to get right this week. Uh, Debo Samuel is back. He was full practice. Trent Williams, weird. I, Kyle Shanahan had a, uh, a press conference where he was like, he's working on more than just his ankle, which makes me a little concerned. So he might not be back. Trent just now went to get on the practice field. Trust that, me, my yeah. man will be out there. Okay, all right. Day. Okay, so yeah, that's great. a low well. ankle sprain, too. Yeah, that's yeah Trent, Trent does his thing. He, he'll be ready. He's, he a, he's, he's like Joe football. Thomas. Like, you wouldn't play throughout the week. He, the yeah. Ferrari comes out on And we'll Sunday. see you Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I, I do. It, it's weird because the Niners, the way they're talked about and the way they started the season, it was like, who can beat this team? They have so many studs. And then Trent Williams and Debo go down. And I, I know this is crazy to say, but, like, when you have guys like that and, and it's all about depth in the NFL and, like, can you bring guys in, the drop-off is so severe when you have Trent Williams and Debo Samuel. It doesn't matter who's coming in for them. It's just going to be different because those guys are so good. I think the Niners' bye week came at a perfect time. Chase Young being added. I think they're switching some stuff up on defense. So I think you're going to get the best effort from the Niners. And the Jags are good, but I don't really – they beat – the Falcons, they beat the Bills in that second game in uh, yeah, London. London where they got to stay. Um, they beat the Saints. I mean, momentum, five-game win streak right now. Yeah, no, they, they, they are good. But I, I think that the, the time we saw the Jags look bad this year was against the Chiefs. I think the Niners are closer to the Chiefs than they are to the Falcons. I, the I, by the way, ever since you brought that theory out a few weeks ago, I, I use it as much as I can. What? When teams are kind of 500, I'm like, all right, let's group these up. Yeah, right. Who's closer to <laughs> Because, who? like, you see four wins, and you're like, okay, that's awesome. But then you think, okay, they, they beat some teams that they should have beat. Because I think the Jags are a very good team. I just don't think they're in that top echelon that the Niners should be in if they can fix some things. Will, what do you think? I don't think the drop-off is as bad as it seems. Like, dropping three, like when you talk about losing Debo and Trent Williams, CMC was also banged up. Yep. Like, when you look at his first five games, he was touching the ball minimum 22 times a game. Yep. His last three, he's touched like 14, 12, 15. He hasn't got the ball much. And all the creativity in that offense kind of runs through a healthy Christian McCaffrey. Debo, yes. But CMC was also very uh, – he was unhealthy in the last few games. And then piggybacking off of uh, Chase uh, Young being added, it helps Nick Bosa because I think he's talked about it. I saw somebody talking about it, which is true. You now don't have to blitz as much more, right. which is choreographed. You kind of know what you're doing. You can only imitate so much, but the rotation of the safeties and everything else is going to tell a quarterback what's happening before the snap. Now you get to pin your ears back a little bit more, add an extra guy in coverage, which is a pass defense who has struggled. So I do, to your point, think they're going to get better. And, and Chase Young playing opposite of Nick Bosa, like that's just going to make both of them better, 
right? Right. Because you can't, you can't, there's only so many guys that can block. And so I, I think both of them are going to see like a bump up and it's going to be very hard to, to pass protect against this Niners defensive line. Oh, yeah. H. So, Will, are yeah. you taking the 49ers? Uh, yeah, I'm, with, I'm rocking Niners. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go 49ers too. I think the, the Chase Young thing is really interesting because Nick Bosa, the, now the double teams are going to go away. The ultimate chips are going to get guys out a little bit later in pass plays to take care of those two guys on the edge. And with Debo coming back, we'll stat. Mm-hmm. Against the spread, mm-hmm. Debo Samuel plays a full game. They're four and one. So mm, I, I, I like the 49ers. Stat. I like mm. the 49ers here. Okay. And I think um, they start right there. There's reports coming out that Brock Purdy is really not the guy everyone thinks he is. Just reports. But I think well, they win this game. The, I think they win this game going by back more than to those three. Reports. Mm. Just I'm just telling you what I've heard. But being a believer in Brock Purdy, there's optimism. I mean, last week they had uh, quarterback question marks going into the bye week. What they do after the bye week? Nine and zero. I also think yeah. Brock Purdy. It, it, He's made a couple bad throws, but I don't think he was the reason why they've been struggling. I think their defense has gotten I agree. gashed. Who'd they play before their bye? Uh, they played the Bengals. In the last two minutes, there were multiple throws that he could have checked it down wide open in the middle of the field with plenty of time on the clock where they could have got those first downs and right. ends up throwing it into the safety. Right. And it, Do you it, think it, Brock's the guy? Do I think Brock's the guy? Yeah, I think when he has these aliens around him, I think he, anybody can be the guy. And, and there is an argument to be said, and I actually kind of believe in it, the Niners are built to play from ahead, and, and you've seen it where they get like a 10-point deficit. It's harder for them to, to come back. So I think they're gonna, you're going to get best effort from the Niners, and they're going to fix some things. I, I like them a lot. Let's go to the game of the week presented by the Chevy Silverado. It is the Lions at the Chargers. Before we get into the game, let's go to Lucas Edits presented by Jersey Jerry. All right, Lucas Edits presented by Jersey Jerry. Week 10. Lucas, you got to hit the space button. No, no, sorry. Pro football football show game of the week presented by Chevy. Chargers versus the Detroit Lions. Goff back to pass. First quarter, a minute left. It's picked off. No, it's not picked off. It's a touchdown. Detroit Lions. Chargers come running back down the field. First and goal. It's no good. Second and goal now. Same exact play. It's no good again. Third and goal coming. Seven nothing. They're trailing. Austin Eckler there, out of the backfield. Oh, Power to the right. It's a <laughs> touchdown. Seven seven tie ball game. Back to no. Justin Herbert threw up interception. He doesn't make mistakes. He made a mistake there. No, Herbert didn't throw the interception. Golf threw the interception. Seven seven. <laughs> six seconds left. Dicker back to kick. Dicker. It's good. No. It's a doink. No good. Seven seven. Fourth quarter. Now this is turning into a field goal game. And it's good. 10-7 to seven Chargers lead. Lions come back down. Lions going for the tie here. Fourth quarter, a minute 45 left. And it's good tie ball game. Herbert back to pass. Fourth quarter, a minute left. And it's a, it's good. It's Mike Williams. It's a touchdown for Mike Williams. Mike Williams back from the dead. Chargers <laughs> 17, Detroit Lions 10. That's the final score. Mm. I feel Thanks like the under always in. hits in these games. Yeah. Yeah. It is always a very low-scoring game. Very low. Always. Uh, Dan, do you... Edits presented by oh, Jersey I was talking Jerry. over Jerry. I feel, I feel bad, Jerry. I was no, talking no, no, over no, you. Can I just... Can I, this, is only, this is my third time on the show. Is it still on? No, it started oh, again. Okay. Over. Yes. This is my third time on the show. Mm-hmm. These have gotten better every single well, time. Well, that's yeah. what that's I was going to ask. Dan, do you... Play-by-play Jerry is getting better every single week. Good job. And Lucas, shout out Lucas. Yeah. He doesn't really have much of a personality, but he's good. He's a good guy. He yeah. doesn't have a personality? Well, he's just kind of... We got big things in the way. We got big things in the works. He's kind of like... We got big things in the works. He's got to play to his strengths. Yeah, you, we're going we're gonna to get it out of him. He's yeah. new. Is we he, had him We had him on the yak. He's a little, you know, we're going to pull it out of him. Got some nerves. Pull it out of him. It ha- what are your big things in the works to get his personality out? We know, he got some stream stuff set up. Look, I yeah. like him. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. No, he's, he's, just, he's, he's an shy. editor right now. We're going to slowly... Yeah, he's like a little robot. He's yeah, right. Right, he is, exactly. <laughs> he's like a little R2-D2 that just follows Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I get, he's gotten shit done. He got a job because of no, it. No, so yeah, maybe, he's yeah. very good. I'm just yeah. saying we're going to pull the yes. personality out of him. Yeah. I'm going to find it. We're going to de- dig deep. We're going to find it. We're going to pull it out. Between you and Jerry, I have no doubt that's going to happen. What do you think is going to happen in this game? Chargers have put together a couple wins back-to-back, but the Lions are not the Bears. They're not the Jets. I think Goff is having a career year. He's got Amon Ross St. Brown, Sam Laporta as a tight end. I mean, Gibbs is kind of showing off his skill set. He can beat you out of the backfield. He can beat you. He's averaging over five a carry. And Montgomery might be coming back. And the stress that puts on a defense on knowing, you know, should we cheat the run game here? What, 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 what? I'm trying to look. He's trying to, he was, trying to, trying to oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so just, I like what you're just, saying. Yeah, just okay. keep I also talking. liked how you said Laporta. 
Is it, what is it? I think it's Laporta, but that was Laporta. I liked it. I, I say yeah, what's yeah, wrong yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was nice. A little accent on it. I, I was yeah. doing. Yes. I called the basketball game last night for the first ten minutes. I said the <laughs> coach's name wrong, and the <laughs> SID came over and was like, "Hey, can you stop doing that?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll get that correct. As if you were doing it on yeah. purpose. Uh, but the versatility, the the Lions' offense, it puts a lot of stress on you defensively because you you start to think, okay, can we win? In, do we need more coverage? Like Amon Ross St. Brown, do you cheat the run game a little bit with a light box? You can't necessarily do that, especially if Montgomery's coming back. You know, are you blitzing them? Are you pressuring them? Golf is good enough to understand pressure and still beat you when you're getting pressured. So it kind of puts a lot of stress on the defense. I love the Lions in this game. I kind of see it as the lock of the week. Ooh. 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 Will Compton lock of the I week. I see it as a lock That's of the week. Exciting. I think it's good that they have two wins in a row, but again, Bears, Jets, this is not the Bears or the Jets. I'm going to go to Taylor, who's been very closely guarding his notebook well, yeah, for this segment. I, Dan, Dan saw my first couple notes, and I think he was impressed, so he started to look over a little bit. I, I, <laughs> Will, you sized it up that, great. That was phenomenal. You really broke the whole thing down. The only thing I can say is Lions. Yeah, I, I was hoping you had Chargers. <laughs> That's it. I was ready for a stat. I disagree, but I'm on the Lions as well. Yeah. I, Lions have gotten healthy. Frank Ragnall back. Jonah Jackson back. Their offensive line should be a strength mm-hmm. again. I also think the Chargers... Like, who scares you on their offense now that Josh Palmer is also out? Who scares you? I mean, Keenan Allen. Right. You can guard against one guy. Austin Eckler. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Like, that. there's no one. No, you're right. When you lose Mike Williams and then Josh Palmer, like, the Chargers don't. I just think that the Lions, their defense is a little bit soft, a little fraudulent. But this is a game where, all right, let's take away Austin Eckler. And then, you know. Keenan Allen, is he gonna is he gonna put up 400 yards? I don't know. Make, make Keenan Allen beat him. Right, exactly. Yeah. So I just don't I don't think that they have. I think they're going on reputation a little bit yeah. when it comes to their mm-hmm. offense. I, I don't think they have the guys that they've always had that are the difference makers. Now that they've had a couple injuries to the wide receiver position. Chargers have been disappointing this year. Yeah, I mean even they, the, they've been disappointing teams. Even the game against the Jets, the Jets dominated them the in terms of de- defense. Mm-hmm. The, the Chargers didn't even get They had that yards. special teams touch on early, and Zach, he, I mean, right. it's, they can't play from behind at all. Right. right. And so I, I walked away from that game being like, if the Jets have even like a C at quarterback, mm-hmm. they win that game. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I think the Lions, they're, 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 they got healthy at the right time. I think they're going to And your guy, Dan out. Campbell. Yeah, off a bye. That little snippet he had where he's doing that, that pregame sit down and he starts crying, thinking about the guys. Football guy. Think about the guys who helped build mm-hmm. the culture before. He's a crier. The, uh, I love it. forces he has now. It's just, how can you not root for Dude, it? if you got a guy referencing ankle biter and then also crying in another video, <laughs> yeah. that is a combination you need. Yeah. That's the perfect yin and yang for yeah. a coach. Love that emotion. Speaking of the Jets, Dan, you've got to have a pick of the week. Yes. Is the Jets and the Raiders, who has to have this one? The Jets have to have it. The Jets have to win this game. And I have a question for uh, my two friends here. Uh, Antonio Pierce. Obviously, I'm a big believer in betting the fired dickhead coach, the bounce back for the team. You saw it. The Raiders came out with their hair on fire, smoking cigars after the game. It looks like the vibe is completely different in that locker room. My question to you guys, and I don't know, you guys have you guys had that that coach fired in the middle of the season? Yeah, I just came when... Okay, but well, you have. Yes. So uh, I think when you look at it, Antonio Pierce, great motivator, gets the guys ro- like fired up. Will he have the acumen in terms of X's and O's to beat this Jets defense? I don't know if that's a yes. I, I, I feel like that was a perfect spot for the Raiders last week. Tommy DeVito comes in the game. They can't do anything. Raiders get the nice win. I think it was a little inflated, and I think the Jets' defense is going to do a good job, and they're going to win this game because they have to have it. From my experience, 2015, we get donkeyed by the Texans. Ken Wisenhunt gets fired. The next week we play the Saints in, uh, in New Orleans. We go to overtime. We end up beating them. Vibes are higher than ever. Right. We didn't win one game the rest of the year. Right. It was tough. Because you get that initial bump where everyone's like, let's go, let's rally, yes. let's rally the locker room. And then you get to the point where you're like, okay, this guy is a great motivator, but he's got to also put us in a good place to win. Hang on now. Besides you, we got the yeah, boys out there. There's, no, there's different boys sample sizes. There's the different year. sample sizes. This is Coach O. Yeah. That was my big thing with Coach O. And and, when he took over USC uh, and LSU. Like, he was the greatest interim coach because he kept the guys, like, fired up. But yeah. when we had Clinton Portis on last week, he kind of compared this whole situation with the Raiders to Jeff Saturday, too, last year. Right. That it was like once he you won get, like, a game. football guy yeah. an opportunity, like, he's going to get the locker room together. That doesn't mean he He's going to be a great head coach in the NFL. Right. Jeff Saturday won his first game, didn't win again. But I think the, the difference is I feel like there's so much more relief 
when McDaniel oh, yeah. got fired. He's the worst guy Different ever. play caller. Like, you're, Josh sure. Jacobs was running angry, but you are right. Like, I think, if anything, you look at the He's under. the worst guy ever. ever. He is the worst guy ever. You look at the under a little bit on this game, but because uh, the Jets' defense is for real. I just don't think offensively they can, like, move the ball that well, man. If they get behind it all, I think it could be tough for them because I just don't think Zach Wilson has that in him. Mm. Um, victory cigars after a game. Like, the vibe in that building when you're feeling really good and, and you're getting frisky. I know that that team is feeling good. I mean, uh, but Devontae Adams, four catches for 34 yards, and you see him in there, the optimism he has in the locker room after a game. Standing next to the head coach. Okay. Standing next to the head Fired coach. Fired up. Victory cigars, no offense to Tommy DeVito, but that's got to be the lowest, like, <laughs> barrier for victory cigars to beat Tommy DeVito. <laughs> that's how you like, know the Like, victory cigars is like winning a championship, Alabama, Tennessee, Tommy DeVito? A, Changing of a guard, culture change. That, I, knowing, like that was knowing more, that the, that more of our head coach got fired. We yeah. I was going to so say, happy. I hated I, Josh McDaniels. Yes. But I, I think it speaks more to the transition that just took place, which is wild. But it's the boys are feeling That's good. That's a Super Bowl for the culture. I, I yeah. made a bet yeah. on Sunday. Jerry <laughs> like, we got this right guy fucking out. Yeah. Tom, Tommy DeVito came in the game in the first quarter, and I live bet the Giants under 12 and a half, which is like one bad play, and you're, you're screwed. And yeah. I never had to sweat. <laughs> They're doing victory cigars for Tommy DeVito. But no disrespect, it could have been like Jerry at, on the other side. It right. wouldn't have mattered. They would have lit the, the cigars because their head coach got fired. And they were happy. Max Crosby is coming. No disrespect. Is coming for Zach Wilson. That, yeah, no, that does <laughs> make me nervous. That's a good point. The generations of Zach Wilson. Not just him Max coming, for coming for them. Zach Wilson, but also his energy. Like, he's not going to let those guys sleep this week. Mm. He's going to see them having a little bit of success, and he's going to make sure. He's been in five fights this, this week in practice, trying to get the boys going. They're going to run Josh Jacobs a whole bunch. I got the Raiders. Did you see Either Max way. inhale that cigar after a game? Yeah. Yes. Oh, Psycho. my. Psycho. God. He's a beast. Yeah, it's a different You, know, you saw that, Jerry? disgusting. He's mm-hmm. very good stats. Very close to TJ. Them lungs. That's right. why he's, that's that, why he's him playing. Him and TJ had the same here. disgusting yeah. after yeah. that. His yeah. lungs are insane. He's playing the ball really good. Yeah. Who are you taking in this game? Raiders. 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 Okay. And also, you brought, At home. Hey, you brought up a good point. I think the under hits, too. Yeah. I think I think that's a big play. Jets defense is awesome in there. So yeah, that's realize. the thing. It's Aiden O'Connell versus the Jets defense. Hey, they made the switch, man. O'Connell, yeah. they're going to run the ball over and over and over which again. It's going to be the fastest game in NFL which history. Which the Jets should do yeah. more of. Yeah. Why aren't the Jets giving Brees Hall the ball more? Uh, no, I agree. It's He's crazy. on my fantasy team. I do need Brees to get the ball more. <laughs> Will, you're got to have it. Pick of the week is the Broncos and the Bills. Who got to have it? The Bills got to have it because when you watch the Bills play offense, like, they don't have much of a run game that makes you think at all on the second level. They sit and gun the whole time. They don't get a lot of push at the line of scrimmage. All they rely on is Josh Allen making, you know, backyard football plays with Diggs and Gabe Davis. And I just don't think that they have an identity. I still think they struggle defensively. And when you look at the Broncos, Russell Wilson has been having a sneaky solid year. I'll say sneaky solid, like not sneaky great, none of that. But he's not getting you beat. He's operating the offense. They're doing a better job balancing screens in the offense. And Sean Payton, is, they've gotten younger on defense. I think they're playing better defensively. And, again, they forced five turnovers against the Chiefs. I think the Broncos plus, what is it, seven? Seven and a half. Seven and I like the Broncos. Bill's got to have it, but I don't think they cover. Taylor? No, I, I agree with that. I think, the, I think Bill's are – strategically not handling the game very well. They do rely on Josh Allen. Get, make sure he gets out of the pocket, rolls to his right, and find Stephon Diggs somewhere down the line. And they're not really – their game plan, there's no identity in that team where you can sit there and feel comfortable with a line that big. And so I'm, I'm going to go with the Broncos as well in that. And you look at Josh Allen like – I'm not saying he's playing bad by any means, but every year with the Bills, like that friend offense of – Friend of the Friend of the show. Yeah, friend of the show. But I'm saying every year with that offense, there's always some highlight coming out of Buffalo where he's jumping over somebody, somebody's running over – like something where it's like, hey, the Bills are looking nice. I, they don't have that at all right now. you saying friend of PMT or yours? Well, I, I think we can have both, right? Yeah, friend of the boys. Yeah, friend of the boys. Friend of the – I interviewed him when he was still a college athlete. Yeah. Yeah. He was your friend I, first. Yeah. yeah. Well, I met him. Guys Allen. Com. him. Yeah. I met him at Exos. I met him at Exos. Josh, Josh, DraftJoshAllen.com. Ever heard of it? No, yeah. I saw the, I saw the clips. Okay. All right. <laughs> you, guys do, you guys do a great job. We can share friends. You've been no operating question. at a high level for a very long time. Yeah. Josh is the very best. Very long time. We're just a couple of, young, we're, we're a couple of young guns new to the game. Josh is yeah. the best. I, he, hasn't he been slandering the Bills, though? Yeah, yeah, I have. A little bit. Have you been saying Yeah, that? I had an overly more direct take the, presented by Door TV. More Brock Purdy. Okay, okay, more Brock Purdy. <laughs> more the Brock Purdy. Story. Well. No, no, no. Let, let me just real quick. That's, I'm the messenger for somebody who is slandering Brock, Brock Purdy. We already brand that it, for the boys. By the boys. And bringing out headlines 
when somebody's down three games in a row and is it Brock Purdy and saying he's not the guy is not as much of a yeah. – of a boy's move. It's, that's all I'm saying about it. And I love that. I, I love that, Will. But if you were to look back and you had the memory, and I understand we've both taken a lot of headshots in our life, I said that back in February as well. Okay. We Damn. can move on. Uh, I'll go opposite. I'll go opposite. If, this, if the playoffs started today, the Bills would not be in the playoffs. They're now in a must-win situation in every single game. Mm-hmm. And, like, this is kind of – they're at a real big crossroads, not just in this season, but kind of in this organization. And I think you're going to get – the absolute best Bills that you will see on Monday night. And Monday night, Buffalo, that crowd's going to be ramped mm-hmm. up. It's going to be loud. Uh, yeah, I think the Bills are going to win this game by like 10, 14 points. Taylor, your got to have it matchup is the Falcons and the Cardinals. Mm-hmm. The Cardinals are 1-8, and eight, so I assume you're saying the Falcons? Yeah, the, Fal- the Falcons need this. I-, I just think Arthur Smith, big friend of the show. Yeah, love Arthur Smith. Love Arthur Smith. I'm starting to get a little worried about him. Mm. He's getting a lot of flack from the fans. Shaved his mustache. He shaved his mustache. That's that's a telltale sign. Yeah, it's like that's that's a bad bad vibe. It's like a murderer getting a haircut. And if you're only favored (laughs) against what you said, the worst team in the NFL, the Cardinals, by one and a half. Yeah, that's a scary thing. People are getting on him about Bijan Robinson. He's he. He's not inactive, but he has one carry a few weeks ago. He's not dishing out the ball to Kyle Pitts very much. The offense isn't doing very much. And, and so, to me, it seems like he's losing the fan base in Atlanta a little bit. And so, for me, this is not just a, a got to have it pick of the week for the Falcons, but also that head coach. And he shaved his mustache, which, by the way, I've never heard of murder getting a haircut thing. Where, is yeah, that, no, like I, if you're guilty of something, you change your look up. Pirate Simon did that. Okay. He did. After breakup, girls usually he got caught. Hair he too, got yeah. caught watching porn at the office, and then the next day he came in with a new haircut. Guilty. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> That's a pirate guy. Pirate Simon. Yeah. Yeah. Pirate porn. The pirate porn. Stagnetti's revenge. That is hilarious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but the haircut gave it away, huh? You just. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, yeah. What What's going on? Why are you changing your haircut? You know who hasn't guilty. changed their look at all? Who? Jim Harbaugh. Yeah. But pro football show. Pro I football show. That that was good. It was a good point, but we, we can show. circle back to that when we're but done. But Falcons. Falcons. And the Falcons. Dan, who are you taking? I'll join you with the Falcons. It makes me a little nervous because Kyler Murray's back, and that might be a, a boost to the Cardinals' uh, locker room and everything they got going on. But then you also have to play the game of Car- Kyler Murray hasn't played live-action football in over a year. So a little rust. Give me the Falcons. I think the only boost for the Cardinals is just for the fans. They get to see Kyler go out there and play. But but he's kind the- of playing for – we had this debate on PMT. Kyler Murray is kind of playing for his job in Arizona. The question is, does he want his job in Arizona? And I don't know the because- answer to that. Like, does he want to stay a Cardinal? Because yeah, he is kind and- of playing for it. But also, Kyler Murray might be playing for his job in Arizona, but everybody surrounding him isn't playing for Kyler Murray to have his job in Arizona. Right. The stuff that comes out like last year and everything kind of behind the scenes and internally that goes on with Kyler Murray, the fact that they're the Falcons are only favored by one and a half points, it's like, I mean, look, this team's, one, this team's one and eight. You, Brother, all the boys are prepping for their holiday plans. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it, it's done in Arizona. I don't think Kyler Murray yeah. gives them that much better of a They're chance. If anything, the old line's like, thank God, maybe he can make something happen. We don't have to try as hard. I'm switching. I'm taking the Cardinals. What After, after that? It's a gambling thing. No, what he, said, he's got some, what he he's said. He's got some internal things. He's like, they're up. one and eight, and they're only a point and a half underdog? That makes no sense. Here's, here's a question. If Kyler Murray doesn't want his job in Arizona, where is he going to go? Because all, all the media stuff that comes out. Yeah, Back to the A's. Baseball. Someone, to baseball. Would, he, he, someone would absolutely want Kyler Murray on their team. But it is, a, like, he is. Like, think, think of the organizations that failed. They'll probably. Yeah. Forward. Think of them. Name them. There's a lot of them. What the Steelers want? Does he got no. Steeler blood in him? No, he's not Steeler. <laughs> no, he's not Steeler. <laughs> you and I both turn around like, no, you, don't, you don't want. Steelers, Steelers, let, Steelers? Steelers let Dobbs walk out of the building. Yeah, but Dobbs wasn't. Dobbs was. Just, I mean, he's not patience. He's, he's, not good, patience. he's not a really good starting quarterback. He's, uh, he's, he's, a, really he's a really good starting quarterback. He's not a really good starting quarterback. I don't know. He's a really good backup quarterback. Pick it. Josh Dobbs proved that you don't have to practice. Yeah. Yeah. Practice true. is overrated. Yeah. Practice is overrated. Learning you people's names is overrated. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. That's why there's play. numbers. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> they should literally take off all the names in the back of the jersey and just go numbers. Yeah. Yeah, just, you just don't need it. So the Rapid Fire Games of the Week presented by Body Armor. Body Armor is the official water of Barstool Sports. Like I mentioned, we are in the new Chicago office. There is Body Armor everywhere. Nice Body Armor fridges. J- Jerry's going to bring us his Body Armor as always. It's on Amazon. It's available nationwide. Go get your Body Armor. Let's start with the another international game, Dan. I know you're not a fan of all of these international it's games. too many. Too many in Germany. Colts and Patriots, 930. It's the most American thing ever. It is. It's, 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 it's crazy. It, when they did it, 
as like the one-off, mm -hmm. it was fun. Now it's every week. It's not fun anymore. It's mm -hmm. kind of, I've, I've made this analogy. It's like the winter classic when they did the one game a year outdoors for hockey. It was fun. Then they do like, everyone's playing an outdoor game. Yeah. I'm on board with that. I'll buy that stock. Yeah. It's, there's a part of it that's cool because like you wake up and you know there's going to be football on a lot sooner, but it's also just like, why are we doing this every single week if we're just not going to have a team? Over? And this game right. stinks. Yeah. This game stinks. Who are you taking? I'm taking the Patriots. Thank you. Oh, and oh, here's why. Two reasons. <laughs> I do want to hear why. Two reasons. One, Gus Bradley, defensive coordinator for the Colts, very predictable. He runs his stuff. That's what he does. Number he doesn't three. do anything else. Yeah, I think story. Bill Belichick will be able to figure out, like, Mac Jones has struggled a lot. But when you go up against a defensive coordinator, you're like, hey, here's what he's going to do, and he's not going to change. Like, you have a little bit of a leg up. Right? Yeah. Uh, Thank you, sir. Actually, I have three points. Bill Belichick's never lost uh, internationally, 3 0. Doesn't really matter because Tom Brady was his quarterback. Whatever. <laughs> That's just a stat. That was a throw in stat. That was like a stocking <laughs> stuff. Just like an added in. That was a stocking That was a stocking stuff. stuff. Number three, Gardner Minshew, been in the league for a very long time, never played against Bill Belichick. I think Bill Belichick, when, he sees it, when, it, when a quarterback sees him for the first time, he can, he can trick him. He can do some stuff that, that confuses him. So. Um, I'm taking the page. I don't feel confident in it. It feels like the farther we get along the line of the Bill Belichick Patriots without Tom Brady, it's pretty clear that the Patriot way was just Tom Brady being really fucking good at football. That's got to be a tough pill to swallow. Yeah, like there's no Patriot way. That's it funny. was just Tom Brady's really it's, fucking good at football. Yeah, it's it's almost like is the Patriot way dead? I know it's not all the way dead until it was no, just it, all it, it fired, but the culture is like. The it, Patriot way was Tom Brady. It was Tom the, Brady being really fucking good at football. Yes. Well, and the it's argument, not, it, was it Bill Belichick or Tom Brady died so quickly because Tom goes and wins a Super Bowl in Tampa Bay and we see what the Patriots are doing. It, so I feel like if anybody's still trying to argue like that. The it's, Patriot way tricked you when they went 10-7 and seven a, couple, or a, few, or a couple years ago. And it was like, okay, maybe. You know, they is, just yeah. needed a little bit of time. But then you go losing record last year, 8-9. and nine, And this year you're dead last. It's, and they're having all these internal, like, guys are kind of arguing on the sideline. Like, I agree with you. I think they'll have a game plan against the cover three offense. But if they have one misstep, like that culture, I have a nice little quote too, Art of War, one of Bill, Bill, Billy Bean's favorites. Okay. If there is disturbance in the camp, the general's authority is weak. I think the Patriot way is dying. It is pretty much it's dead. It's dead. And there's it a was lot. Tom Brady. Yeah. It was. It was Tom Brady. It's like there, there will be probably in, in 10 years, there'll be like a Chief's way. It's like, no, it's Patrick Mahomes really fucking good at quarterback. Like that's what the way is. Well, Andy, Andy Reid is. Yeah, I know, but like you Reed's can't nice. like, I, and I'm not saying that Bill Belichick isn't a phenomenal coach. He's he's probably the best coach of all time. I'm just saying like this, this idea that like this is the way we do things and it's so different than everyone else. No, the difference is you had Tom Brady as your quarterback. Yeah, players for, when you for get two right, decades. absolutely right. correct. For when do we decades. start putting Andy Reid in that conversation over Bill Belichick? I've I've I made we had a debate about whether that debate would happen, and I won that. I, I won the pre-debate. You won it, Hank. A Hank finally capitulated and said, yes, the debate will eventually happen. So I won the pre-debate. How soon do you think that debate's going to happen? If they win another one. Because Andy Reid also, he's done it with two different organizations. Mm -hmm. He's done it with multiple, like, you, you, the, the, the stats are coming out now. You know, like Bill Belichick multiple with and without backs. Tom yeah. Brady. Andy Reid won a lot of games with Alex Smith. Won a lot of games with Donovan McNabb. So, yeah, I think the, the debate will happen. And, I, again, I won the pre-debate. That's most Which important. is sometimes the stronger Brady than era. the debate. No. The era yeah, it yes. gives you a lot of momentum going mm -hmm. into the next debate. Yeah. Or the real debate. You want to be careful. So did you go Colts or you go Pats? Colts. Yeah, I'm, I'm going, going Colts. Going Colts. Colts? I did yeah. say a lot. I, I think there's a lot of complacency in the Northeast right now when it comes to the Patriots. I'll refer back to the last time I was here for the Barstool Awards. Talked to two guys, heavy Boston accents. And they were like, Bill Belichick can stay as long as you want. And that's when I figured out that the Pats are dead. Chiefs might not even, <laughs> Chiefs like might not even have to win. You like that, Jerry, did you like that? Being that. Yeah. It's like right, if the I mean, Patriots continue so this. Six, six is a lot of Super Bowls. It is, but I'm saying <coughs> if you're going to argue Bill Belichick and Andy Reid, like there's still an argument there. I mean, who is. Well, you're Bill saying the debate's happening right now. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, so my pre-debate's yeah. even so, stronger. Yeah. Your pre-debate, yeah. but Because I didn't think it was good. I didn't think the debate was going to happen for another couple of years. But now. But no, it's already happening. You is, now it's are you prepared for this debate now? I'm, I'm not. I'm, I don't care about this debate. I only cared about winning the pre-debate. Well, but, Dan, the debate's already here because yeah. Taylor brought it up, so you could bring up the pre-debate. Yeah. yeah. The, the start, debate was put on the table. It could be the, the pre-start of the real debate. Just no. your opening statement. I, I, I think that Bill Belichick is pretty safe as the greatest coach of all time for right now. 
Six Super Bowls is a lot. They see the for right now part. And I, I, it's the little right things. It's the little details. There's an opening. Andy Reid gets an two. Suits. If he gets I two, suits, three more. If he gets two, three more, then yeah. That's a, that's a real debate. The pre debate. Two different franchises. I know. No. I know. Well, there's people in New England right now that do not like that. Big quarterbacks. Like, you get it. Billy B, you got first rounder and the GOAT. Yeah. Dan, before we move on from the international game, you've been always talking about travel plans. I know that switched last week because of what the Chiefs did. It fucked me so bad. It fucked me so bad. I, I, like, all year I've been, like, Dolphins fraudulent. If they play any good team, they lose. Bet any good team against the Dolphins. And then the Chiefs decided to go on Thursday to Germany, and it fucked me up. Fuck me up. It's a tough look for all the players out there when you still have to travel on Thursday now because now you got more data that says, hey, we can go later in the week. Yeah. Well, no, you can't. You need Patrick Mahomes. I agree. I'm just saying it's going to suck when a coach sees it. Like, oh, no, we can go on this time because I think right. that's what's best. Right. Yeah. It's t- so does this week have any – do you know the travel plans? I don't know the game? travel plans, but I guess that does go back to my stocking stuffer stat uh, that Bill Belichick's 3-0 and internationally. So clearly he's yeah. got a plan that he's probably – Tom Brady. Tom Brady, yeah. Yes. So then I just negated my own point. <laughs> Let's go to the – That the, was the plan. Yes. Have Tom Brady. It's an yes. internal battle. Yeah, yeah. It just like, multiple wars. Yeah, I am. Right now I'm like – I don't think the Patriots have a whole lot of optimism. Right now it's just like a, a, a copy of me. Like I'm a body double and I'm back to back with myself just like shooting in a circle. Yes. Just trying to fend <laughs> off everyone because I can't – my brain can't handle this right now. I'm just talking myself in circles. Yeah, and just, it, you know, it's I literally just had a point, and then I went back to my original point that negated my, my first point. But the travel plan. No, also- I'm not changing. I'm not changing. <laughs> the tra- I, I made the point that the yeah. travel, Bill Belichick knows how to travel because he's 3-0 and internationally. And Will correctly pointed out, but he also had Tom Brady. He's like, yep. That but the great. travel plans <laughs> were changed with the Chiefs because of Patrick Mahomes. Yes. So technically, yes. you have two caveats. By the end of the have show. good players and travel doesn't matter. That's really what it comes down <laughs> yeah. to. Jet lag doesn't show, matter when you have the greatest of all time. Yeah. Yeah. By the end of the show, you need to revisit this real quick. <laughs> okay, how, Okay. we'll, we'll circle we'll, back. This is right. a hell of a rapid fire. Yeah, he's going in a circle, <laughs> shooting at himself. We'll see where that ends. Okay, the Texans and the Bengals. Will, I'll start with you. Give me the Bengals. I think... C.J. Stroud has been playing phenomenal, but this Burrow's all, or this Burrow offense, the Bengals offense, even defensively now, they're playing more confident. Um, I think that they handle him. C.J. Stroud, Joe Burrow, straight up. I mean, Joey B. He's playing. He's playing at a high level right now. I like the. I like the Bengals. You're not worried about no Jamar Chase. Yeah, I'm a little worried. Okay, was that breaking news? Hey, he just found that out. I found that out. Found that was that out. You know, you know what? <laughs> what happened in my brain? I saw that yes. this morning, and it wasn't imprinted in my brain long right. enough to you didn't really take yeah, it. Yeah, now so, that he said no, that, I sure. thought, oh, that's right. I was kind of thinking about the Texans. You heard it. You didn't listen to oh. it. But the, the way that they move the ball offensively, too, like the ways they beat you, the window dressing, the motioning, the getting lining up under center, mm-hmm. trying to have a run game. I think the Bengals do a really good job structuring that offense. That is concerning, especially covering seven points. But I'm still going to go Bengals because I've already, I've already, I've already committed. Taylor. To be the man, you got to beat the man. Mm. CJ Stroud. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I like the quotes that you're coming up. That with. was a, that was a panic <laughs> quote. Hey, that, that was, was a panic but quote. A decent one. A that was like a throw it up for a hey, like hopefully one of my guys catches it. <laughs> yeah. Your, your quote was for C.J. Stroud, so are you going Texans? No, no, no. To, to be, be the man, you have to beat the man. Yeah, C.J. Stroud's got to beat the man. To me, this so is you don't think he's the man? Play. I don't okay. think he's the man yet, no. Is Joe Burrow the man? Joe Burrow's the man. But he hasn't beaten the man winning a Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. We have a, du- we have a double man. Bowl. We have a double but man. But in this game, Joe Burrow is, is the man. Is the man, yes. I do in think Joe game. Burrow's the man. Yes, in this game, he is the man. So you're going Bengals as well? No, I'm not. I put a future on the Bengals, 22-1, to 1, when they were at halftime of the Niners game. I believe in the Bengals. Seven points is too much for a Texans team that is playing great, great football. C.J. Stroud is awesome. Mm-hmm. And awesome. what happened last week is what I, we, I think every Texan fan was hoping would eventually happen. They're letting him throw the ball more. And they're not just being like, first down, run the ball. First down, run the ball. Put him in bad positions. They got a ton of weapons. And I think seven points, they, they stay in this game. Have you seen what Dante said about him? I need you to talk to him. He said that, that he wasn't that good at Ohio Dante State. Dante didn't watch college football. It's fine. I mean, that's just – See, this show was really good I love at Dante. State. Dante, I love you. When yeah, I no, saw that tweet, I was like, what listen, is going on? We all – I said on Monday's PMT that uh, Jedrick Wills, who Zoopy went <clears> – <throat> uh, I said he was, the, like, their <laughs> star offensive lineman. Browns fans were like, what the fuck are you talking about? We all make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. We Everybody all make makes mistakes. mistakes. Right. Yeah, no disrespect to Don. Yeah. I just yeah. couldn't believe it. The good thing is the ability to go back on those mistakes. Right, exactly. Yes. Uh, I'm going to take, uh, take the Texans as well. Texans? I think CJ okay. Stroud fires me up. He's the best quarterback in Ohio State history. And this is what fires me up. Obviously, he had five touchdowns, like a 478 yards last the week. Busting with the boys interview? 
the Bust with the Boys interview. That fired me up, the way he kind of approaches the game. He's very humble. He, when he wins, he puts it on the team. When he loses, he puts it on himself. Cool. But the play that he handed it off to the running back that runs off to the sideline, they pitch it. They didn't call that. That's like that Patrick Mahomes mm -hmm. backyard football stuff where a rookie is playing with confidence that is not usually seen out of a rookie, especially when that comes out of a house. Yeah. And I think this guy is going to be extremely special. I feel terrible for my Titans because that's going to yeah, be a big issue. Him. That's going to be a yeah. big issue. Yep. But I, I like C.J. Stroud a lot, I, and the reason why I'm going Texans here, I think the number's too big. If I could use a little bit of B.C.'s theory, <clears throat> strategizing, Bill Belichick? war room, yeah. If I lean on Dan's philosophy – Texans, they're beating, you know, the Bengals, this is the toughest division of football. This isn't the NFC South, who mm -hmm. they've been beating. So that's, to me, you're going against a different animal in Cincinnati. Yeah, but it's seven points. Seven points. I think, the, I think Tank Dell, by the way, is so good. He's so good. Yeah. But you the, guys know the, that the, guy's the, name? The, he, he's a wide receiver for the Texans. Yeah, no, no. Tank Dell is so good. CJ Stroud. Tank Dell is so good. <laughs> yeah. Jerry agreed yeah, with you. I shook my head. He's been well. lights yeah. out this year. Well. Yeah. I was going to let them process that. He's the guy who's going to get paid because of CJ yes. Stroud. That's right. There you go. That's right. Good there point, you go. <laughs> 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 All right, Taylor, the Saints and the Vikings. <laughs> uh, Vikings. Okay. Both I get to my notes. Just he says them, we're just like. I knew it was like, it's, guys, it's breaking news. Let's breaking go. News. <laughs> it tells really good. Guys just <laughs> operating on a different system. Than <laughs> well, we are both right of now. you were hoping the other person said something. <laughs> God will <laughs> save me. Like, all I thought Jerry was said yes. I'm sitting over here like, somebody's got to talk. Or I'm sitting over chasing just immediately the wiring. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> I thought I yeah. Like, I didn't see that. <laughs> but with Dan, it's like sometimes he'll just throw out a statue that's not even real. And if you just agree with it too quickly, it's then. True. He has oh, so there, you right. thought maybe he made the name There were some walls up there. Yeah, there were some defensive like walls. Name. Some that's fun fair. defensive walls, but you just yeah. don't want to get got. That's, that's just, a little bit of, just a little bit of trauma there. Yeah. That's okay. It's good enough to where you do have to think through. Is he trying to get you a something? Yeah, oh, a thousand right. percent. Right. Right. I'm going to have to mix in a fake name <laughs> yeah. now yeah. at some point. And I, gar I guarantee the next time the fake yeah. name comes up, I will. Yeah. Yeah, you're 100 percent right. Stat time. Stat time. Stat time. Dan didn't get to see this one. Saints. When they are favored by two and a half or more, they're 0-6-1 and one against the spread. Ooh. They're favored by two and a half today. And so that, for that reason, I'll be going Vikings. I think Josh Dobbs is better than people think. <laughs> I think him coming in and giving that kind of energy. This is the best team Josh Dobbs has been a part of. Starting. Getting in. Mm -hmm. Full game. He's got weapons around him. He's got a defense that hasn't performed but are coming together. They're going to they're win this game. And I think the NFC, NFC South is kind of like – it's tough right well, now. The Saints haven't beat anybody either. Yeah. 0 oh, 6 against NFC teams. They haven't beat a team with a it winning record. They barely beat the Bears. They had a 5 0 turnover. Yes. Win. Crazy. Dan, who are you taking? Saints. Oh. <laughs> Will? Go ahead. So, well, hold well, on. I'm going Vikings. I, I think. <laughs> I think. I like Dennis, this. Dennis Allen, that staff isn't competing with O'Connell and his staff. And I think with this next man up mentality that the Vikings have now been able to embrace, that we're in the Kirko Thuggins shirts. Uh, not only did Josh Dobbs step in last minute and have to get talked through like while he's operating the offense, uh, shout out to the boy David Questenberry. He had to step in right before the game. Like, again, at right tackle, this next man up mentality that they are embracing, they know that – they're playing with this culture behind them, with this winning momentum behind them. I like the Vikings. And, again, I think the uh, Saints, they haven't beat anybody worth talking about. Did you get that name? Who? David Westbury? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he was on the – was he on the sideline? That was a great clip of them going through the cadence right yeah. before he came on. I love Josh, Josh Dobbs. And I, the Vikings are – like playing great ball. Do you guys hear what he's doing he's back just here? Doing a little yoga. It's not. It's not just the yoga and the stretching. He's just grunting. Yeah. And it's all Gotta like stay limber, Jerry. My back pops. You spend uh, that long in a car. You're gonna have to stay limber. <laughs> yeah. I know. The the Vikings are, are playing great ball. Josh Jobs, incredible story. Couple things. One is now he's got practice. Does it slow it down? Like he, the way he was playing that game the against the Falcons hurt him. No, I'm I'm seriously though. I watched that game against the Falcons. I had the Vikings in that game. I'll say it. I got a little lucky. That was more about the Falcons just, like, collapsing. The Vikings were, were – it was a little fluke play-ish, but Josh Dobbs deserves all the credit. Now he's got to get all the information in his head, getting the play calls. Like, he was just playing backyard football, and it's hard to defend against that when a guy's feeling himself and he's making those type of plays. That 22-yard run he had on fourth and seven was insane. The, this game, though, comes down to one thing for me. Brian Flores, what does he love to do? Blitz. Yes. How do you beat the blitz? Play action. No. No, definitely not. Check downs. Who loves to check down? <laughs> <laughs> Who loves to check down? Saints. Derek Carr. Yeah, Alvin Kamara. I think that's like a, putting your hand in a well-fitted well glove. 
I think they, I think they will. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Jerry was so fast. Yeah. That was like get your quarterback killed even more. <laughs> Turn no. your back away Check from down. away from the defense. <laughs> your facial make it make it a Taylor five second so drop. You were shocked. Yeah, that he said that. I can't believe he said I mean, that. That's, <laughs> that's so fucking well, wild. Is you, Derek Carr just getting smashed to smithereens while he's got his back right. to everyone? I don't know. Turn your back to the entire defense blitzing you. Yeah, that's the way we beat the blitz. No, but I I, I or get the ball out of your hands. Yeah, yeah. that's in check down. Yes. Right. And that is what points in play. Actually, if you're moving the pocket. What yeah, I meant was if there's a guy blitzing. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's a different category. 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 I'm, I'm trying to help my man out. Back naked here. There is move the pocket and I, play action are yeah. two separate parts yeah. of the of the playbook. I like his <laughs> so. I liked his confidence. Some though. blue leggings. Yes. Hey, yes. Taylor, no, Taylor, Taylor, I don't want that to hurt us. I don't want that to hurt us. Taylor, I think that was super. Taylor moving the pocket from a bootleg. That is bad. That is technically you got to extend the arm. He is. Yeah, to get the linebackers to fight. He's on the stuff. That's true. Yeah, if it's an RPO. Hey, and if I'm using a Dan Dan Katz theory, a BC theory right here Josh Dobbs he's still in the learning phase yep. of playing games it's yep. more of like when he settled it in and has the entire playbook like you get a few games out of him there's more optimism there well no but what happened with the Cardinals the September thing but, was good right he had just shown up. how many games he get to play he get to play four we might oh have you're to saying he's still, still in that yeah, you're still, still in, in that phase. phase okay that's fair and NASA guy too he's gonna register that playbook the astronaut as but I I do think it comes down to yeah they the Vikings like to blitz and Derek Carr like that's his strength is to just dump it off to Alvin Kamara. There's a prop bet of the week right there. It might be. It might be. You'll see Alvin Kamara get a lot of catches. We will be betting yeah. that. Okay, Jerry, your Packers and Steelers, or your Steelers against the Packers, mm-hmm. how are you feeling? I feel good this week. Yeah. I feel good this week. I really do. Steelers are at home. Um, T.J. Watt, he's humming on all cylinders. Kenny Pickett, listen, I think it's going to be a close game, and I love it even more because Kenny Pickett has proven he's a winner late. He's the best quarterback in the fourth quarter in the NFL this year, and you could take that to the bank because that is a real stat. So I'm going with the Steelers. Mm. Jerry okay, comes Jerry. up with these stats every week, and I don't know if they're real or not. He's but the I'm... best, best, quarter, oh, the best fourth, fourth quarter quarterback. <laughs> best fourth quarter quarterback? Best, fourth best quarter fourth quarter quarterback. quarterback in the NFL this year. Well, like, you have what stats, stats to prove that? Yeah, what stats back that up? Completion percentage, QBR. Uh, they don't score, and then somebody has to score in the fourth quarter. Yeah, game. he's. I think he's tied for second in – uh, or first, actually, in uh, fourth quarter comebacks with four minutes or less this year. That up. He had to. That's, that's a real stat. I, I'm with you on the Steelers, but I don't think it has anything to do with Kenny Pickett being good in the fourth quarter. I think it's more the Steelers are six in the league at pressure rate. I think they're going to get to Jordan Love. Jordan Love's one of the worst quarterbacks against pressure, mm. and that's why I like the Steelers because both of these teams are the worst offenses in the league in the, four, in the, in the first quarter, like coming out. Like, yeah. Nobody's going to score, but I think uh, I think Steelers get to Jordan Love, and uh, I don't think the Packers will do very good. They should start the game in the second quarter. That way they start. Just throw it out. Throw it out. Right. Throw the first quarter. Out hey, the first quarter is out. You guys are starting second quarter. Let's burn the clock game. here. Yeah. yeah. Dan, what do you think? I'm going to take the Packers. Oh. We're against each other in a lot of games. A lot of games. Separation Sunday. Why? People calling it. Tell me why, Dan. Tell me okay, why. I'll, tell you, I'll give you two reasons. Uh, or a few reasons. It's tough to I don't go know how many reasons I'm going to go. Just the pack. I don't know how many reasons I'm going to go. I, it's <laughs> unlimited reasons because I might just get going and I might just start rattling off reasons. Reason number one. Uh, the Packers' biggest problem this year, well, they've had a lot of problems, but one of their biggest problems this year is slow start games. So they start really slow. Up until last week, it had been 10 quarters, five games that they hadn't scored a touchdown in the first half. Do you know what team – you can start slow against and still be in the game, the Pittsburgh Steelers, because they also start slow. So this is not one of those situations where the Packers, they have a slow start in the first half, and they're like, oh, we're down 14, we're down 17. Yeah, you're the Steelers right. start very slow. So I think it's going to be a tight game throughout. Uh, the Packers' run defense has gotten better. They have The last two games, they've kind of fixed some things. They're starting to play more as a unit. Uh, and George Pickens is crazy. That has to matter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that has yeah, to matter. Mike Tomlin said it doesn't matter. Mike Tomlin said it doesn't matter. Right. Well, that's what he's got. He, to say. he likes his players hungry. Here's like a little. That. Here's a little tip. Mike Tomlin's a little. Tip. If a coach has to say something doesn't matter, it means it matters. True. Because if it didn't matter, you'd never have to say it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. That post game stuff going on last mm. week, like that's. Yeah, that was sign. rough. It's not a good sign. So I think that there's a weird. That's a weird vibe. Uh, in that locker room, especially now that Deontay Johnson is back, which <coughs> should help George Pickens. We talked about that last week. Uh, yeah, I, I think the Packers. I don't think the Packers are good. I just think three points against the Pittsburgh Steelers is a spread I'll always take because they're not going to blow anyone out. 
They're not. They just play tight games. I agree. No, they so they might win by two, and I'll cover. You've always had some – but my thing is you've had optimism. You've, you've found the optimism with the Steelers all year. The Packers, you've taken every opportunity to talk about them not being good. They're not good. Not being good. No, they're not good. But now you want to take them against the boy back here? Yeah. Sometimes the team's not good enough that you they become good. I don't think Separation it's... Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> Separation Put Sunday. Put that on a cool – Not good enough to where they become good. Well, <laughs> with the spread. It's a yeah. gambling brain. It's I mean, a gambling I get it. brain. I get Once it's you get so brain. bad, right. everyone's like, they're so bad. Like, but wait. Now they're catching People three that, points against the Steelers team yeah. that can't blow anyone out. Maybe they're good. Gambling brain. In this can't scenario. Can't explain it. Can't explain it. Taylor, who are you taking? Jerry. Last time I was here, the Steelers were playing the Rams. And I was going to go with the Rams. And everybody, we sat here as a group. We bonded for Jerry. And we went Steelers. And Steelers won. Jerry's uh, been wrong about every well, single Steelers. Hold on. Steelers. But no, hold no, on. That's but a, hold that's on. A, that's, a, that's not a, that's hold a on. lie. Not everyone. <laughs> Almost sort of. Everyone. Steelers. Wrong about four. Steelers uh, were playing Jacksonville. They were underdogs at home. I found the stat 15 4 and 1. When Mike Tomlin is a dog at home, mm-hmm. I text Jerry. I said, What do you got? He texted me. And what'd you say, Jerry? Free money. Free money. And what happened? They won. No. They lost. They lost. They lost. That's so right. now Jerry and I are one, <laughs> one and one together. You even heard him do. They, they won. <laughs> Like a question mark in there? No, they did not. No, he just tried so to this is like this so pick. Bad. This pick for me is not only because <laughs> I, I want I want the Steelers to win to, for Jerry to be happy, but this is a this is a foundational pick for Jerry and I's relationship, and I'm betting yeah. on they Jerry yeah. and our relationship. Yeah. I'd feel a whole lot more comfortable if Dan would take back everything he said and go with with the Steelers as well, because that's what happened last time. Well, he's got good points. Yeah. I think the he's only th- been wrong about the Steelers every single week. But when we were all together, yeah. we're one and zero. Taylor, right. and the last time he tries throwing these. I lost my place. Half my stats and everything else. It was when they were about to play the Texans. When he's like, "Oh, this yeah, is the best. free money. That was it's the best defense." Money. And when he's he's talking a little crazy about uh, Kenny Pickett right yeah. now, and which makes me uncomfortable. So switch your pick, tough uh, guy. Uh, I'm no, no, I'm oh. with no, no. Switch your pick. No, I'm, I'm not <laughs> switching my pick. I believe in the Steelers. He doesn't want to I just don't think it's about Kenny Pickett in the fourth quarter. It is. It is. He's shown he can. He's just got to hit the open guy over the middle. I'm not worried. I'm worried about fourth quarter. Take the glove off. That and that's it. You win games in the fourth quarter, you stay. You gonna switch it? Packers a decent second half team too. Right, so you switch? Switch? I'm no I'm Steelers. Okay. Steelers. Okay. I'm Will. Steelers. Will's a guy that'll never switch his pick in the moment. That's false. I literally switched yesterday right after slips and picks. Right, right after slips and picks, but not in the moment. Exactly what like I just said. When the cameras are rolling and the lights are on, you won't switch. You exactly full, what I just said. You ever done the full card switch? That, hey, that was a full it's thought. Electric. Not a full card. I've done that at advisors. Did, it did work the out? whole. I can't remember. I think I went like 500, so probably not. But I literally picked every game. We taped the show on Wednesday, and then on Sunday I was like, flip it all. Uh, I love the balls. Yeah. <laughs> Do you find yourself putting yourself in too much of a blender when oh, it comes to gambling? Every day. Because it seems like just the one listening to you talk. Every day. Every day. You can absolutely overthink everything. It's got to be hell being in that brain sometimes. It's terrible. It's terrible. I've tried everything. Watching, watching him and Dave on the plane star called football shows on the weekends, it, I mean, you're in a blender just watching them being. Yeah, it's like I'm in a blender language. on this show. Yeah. It, it's, it's crazy. I've seen a lot of football, I've lost a lot of ways. I know, I know some He's things. I know some things. He's seen some things. Yeah. He's seen some, some things. things. Okay, Taylor, the Titans at the Bucks. Titans. Of course. Titans. New energy. First off, this is the game that the Titans are going to lose. Oh. And they're not going to cover. But. Oh. No, <laughs> let, let him cook. Let him with cook. My heart, <laughs> with my heart, I'm going let Titans. But any time in Nashville when the energy is high, they just said Will Levis is now the starting quarterback. Ryan Tannehill, his time here is dead. Everyone's like, we got Will Levis. He's the, he's the great white hope. We're mm-hmm. going to win a Super Bowl. Blah, blah. Like Literally, that's what Nashville, Tennessee is saying right now. And that is probably the reason why the Titans are going to lose this game and not cover. However, I've bought into that. And so I'm going with Titans. Mm. Dan? I would not go with me. This game is all... Don't go with me. Well, this game's all an in, injury to me, and I don't know because we tape it on Thursday. I have no idea what's going to happen, but I think if Jamel Dean doesn't play, then it is the Titans. I don't know how I can make that pick. Can I make that pick? Can I say if Jamel Dean plays, I'm going to take the Bucs? I'm, I'm literally the only person that's not on the show He did that week. one game, um, yeah. even though you. there you was no me. question mark in the air about Deshaun Watson playing against the 49ers. Yeah. But we did do that on that. All right, game. so can I do it? Can I use mine? Sure. Yeah. All right, Jamel Dean plays, I'm taking the Bucs. Jamel Dean doesn't play, I'm taking the Titans. Will? I like the Bucs. I just think they have more, they have more weapons on offense. Um, I'm excited about Will Levis and the Titans, but again, the offensive line, like – but hold on. Hold the way Baker the Bucks made, last week versus Houston. Yeah, but the, the, that's the what I'm saying. got embarrassed. That's what I'm saying. What, they moved the ball. When did it start getting embarrassed? Fourth? Jamel Dean got concussed. Oh. 
And that, was it, a, that was a shot from the hip. And the Buccaneers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Buccaneers I really thought Jamel Dean no, was a big name. It literally became like, the, it how, couldn't stop how, anything. That's how much I'm He's already, he's already He said Jamel Dean, I went, oh, uh, and I thought, wait. Yeah. Just don't say is this anything. the just moment? Stay silent. Yeah. Is he going to get me in the same show? He's going to make fun of you. No, the, the Bucs defense, the back half of their defense is not good. No, I, I don't disagree. I just think that the Bucs have a little bit more on offense, and I think that um, – Baker Mayfield will play well, just like he did against the Texans, and you do need the Bucks offense to kind of show up a little bit. I think they're going to get Vita Vey back. Vita Vey? Vita Vey. Vita Vey, they're getting him back, which was, will be a big help. Yeah, stops all the run. Todd Bowles is a bad coach. Mm-hmm. Great you right, you right. <laughs> You're right, I, love, you're right. I love when Jerry just shouts him down for like little points like mm-hmm. that. Okay, Dan. That the decision was crazy last week. Yeah. Not to take the run off. Yeah. It's crazy. Crazy. Uh, Dan, the Giants and the Cowboys. The Giants obviously got killed last week. The Cowboys lose to the Eagles in very Dak Prescott type of way. How are you feeling about this? I game? hate taking spreads this high, it's but ridiculous. you can only 17. take the Cowboys. Yeah. I mean, Tommy DeVito, poor Tommy DeVito. <laughs> poor Tommy DeVito. That's, that's, that's all I have to say. That's my entire analysis of this game is poor Tommy DeVito. Will? Yeah. Uh, Cowboys, look, Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys are the worst situational football team in the last few years. This will be a situational football game. They're going to get to play with the lead. They're good when they're having fun. You know, I think the horses are going to be, you know, eating up the Giants O-line. I don't think there's a shot in hell that the uh, Giants win. There's a little percentage. I'm not going to say shot in hell. I'm not going to guarantee. I know that's where BC kind of flips it. Dallas to cover minus 16, 16. Do you you see what you do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, no, he – yeah, he – Puts everybody in the blender. He also just took a fake spread, so I'll nice. take. I'll also take the Cowboys sixteen or sixteen and a half. What is it? It, now? it says seventeen, but I'll take it sixteen or sixteen and a half. You want it was to do sixteen it? and a half yesterday. No, we, we, we yeah, yesterday. 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 Let's 16 say sixteen and a half. And it may change. <laughs> yes, by, it may change, change by game time. Let's give but ourselves no. sixteen and a half. On the paper, it does say seventeen. Let's give ourselves sixteen and a half. Tom, it's sixteen and a half. Okay. Taylor, 16 and a half. Um, unless you want the Giants, and you could take 17. No, no. I'm going to take the Cowboys. <laughs> Cowboys are a, they're a fraudulent team. They, but teams like the Giants, bad teams, is when they feast and then they get back. Yep. Where everyone's like, are the Cowboys yep. back? Yep. Mm-hmm. And yep. this is going to be that. They're going to win by more than 16 and a half for Will, mm-hmm. more than 17 for you. Mm-hmm. No, I have 16 and a half. You have 16 and a half? Yeah. So they're going to win by 17 points. Mm-hmm. And everyone's going to go, hey, Cowboys, fluke. Yep. 49ers, fluke. Eagles, fluke. And so they're going to be back and now all of a sudden contenders. You're saying people are going to say Cowboys uh, fluke. They are one of the best teams. Yes. I, think, I just I, think that's what they're known for. It's like they, yeah, that's what they're known, yeah, that's what they, they're known they, for. But it's, it's games like this because they feast. Cause they're not going to be in situational ball. Yeah. They're not going right. to be in a situation no. in the fourth quarter where, where they, they would lose it for themselves like they did against the Eagles last yeah. year. Yeah. Okay. This is the game where they're going to they're gonna pull away. They're going to win this game by 21 points. And then we're going to see everybody the next week taking hot takes that the Cowboys are going to win the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. All right, I, Will? You don't, wait, you, well, I'm just 16. Well, I think if you watch this show last week, uh, pretty boy that doesn't know how to get hit in the mouth. I think our show, we kind of say that Cowboys aren't going to be like a fluke. They win this one big. They'll be a Super Bowl. That's why people watch the show. It's the realest show. I think they're still going down. If anything, you want to see them win a tough game, which I don't think they will. Will, the last game, the Commanders at the Seahawks. When was the last time Washington went to Seattle? Uh, 2014. 2017. They were eight-point underdogs. I didn't know you knew the answer. He was a linebacker. You can look him up. (laughs) Ten tackles, one pick, three PBUs. I trying to look at your notes. That was one of your three? That was one of the three that, that <laughs> <laughs> we went in backs against the wall, eight point dogs. Mm. We came out 17 14 against the 12th man in the Seattle Seahawks. Well, 12th man is Texas AM, but whatever. Seattle's winning this game. I yeah. think that they cover, but yeah. I just want to throw that set out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, I was last hoping you time they win. the commanders because I would have pumped you up. I would have been like, you know what the difference is? Will Compton's not on the field. Will Compton's not playing. I kind of wish I can say that. Hey, hey, difference picks. maker. Three yeah. more than everybody at this table. Yeah. It is true. All right, Taylor, who are you taking? Oh, you didn't get any uh, picks? I got tackles after picks until I got knocked out once, and then I stopped running after interceptions. See how the Pro Bowl is rigged. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm going to take Commanders, plus six and a half. Uh, Sam Howell, last two weeks, 325 yards, 397 yards. He's getting the ball a lot faster. He's taking a lot less sacks. Um, and their last two. Eagles, they put 31 points on the Eagles. They put 20 points on the Patriots, like 20 points on the Patriots. They were one and four in the red zone. And so you clean up a couple of things there. I think the Seahawks are coming off an extremely embarrassing loss. And I think six and a half is a lot of points. So I think, I think the commanders co- uh, cover that. Dan, you're kind of wincing over there. Well, it's six. He keeps saying six and a half. Now it's I, trying to do the other way. Six, six and a half. Well, that's, <laughs> this is my notes. Uh, 
from yesterday? Seahawks for me. <laughs> Seahawks for me, they've looked bad, and then you realize they just had two games against the two best defenses in the NFL, the Cleveland Browns and the Baltimore Ravens. The Commanders are not one of the best defenses in the NFL. Mm-hmm. Jack Del Rio going to play some zone. That's where Geno gets to eat. Uh, I mean, he does play man, but I don't know if they play it well. Uh, actually, what is the – what's um, – What's it called? Zone to when, when you play zone. Do you ever play for Jack Del Rio? Because he plays zone, and then once your receiver is close to you, you play man. That's uh, I mean, Gus Bradley's like that. With yeah, three. Yeah, it's right. kind of like a match man zone. Right, it's right, kind of right. like a match man cover three. And then you, you play man on one side, zone on the other. No, you play zone, and then when the a receiver gets close to you, you, you play you, like, man you until the whistle. Yeah, because yeah, there, yeah, there's a that's yes. a fun thing to learn. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you're right. There are there are there's a lot of zone philosophies that turn into man, like right. Once, you, they start getting in the right, game. but I think that the 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 base of of it starting as a zone. I think Geno sees the the field a lot better uh, when he's playing against zone. The Browns and the Ravens, I think, are the number one and number two man coverage teams in the NFL. So, and Geno's terrible against man. I think the Seahawks are going to eat in this game. Uh, yeah, I have the Seahawks big. Yeah, I agree with you. They were four. Seattle was four and one, and then they played the AFC North, which you just alluded. And to. And those two teams, like their defense, I, I was out on Geno Smith on Monday. I was kind of trashing him, and then I had to have a little bit of like, hey, I still am out on Geno Smith, but I'll be in on him when he plays defenses uh, that can't play like the Ravens and the Browns. Yeah. Dan, Colts or Patriots? I'm sticking with the Patriots. I had to circle back. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sticking with the Commanders? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say the Commanders, and then also I'm gonna. Th- I, would, I think this is an over game as well. <laughs> oh, I like no, that. I had to. I had I to like see. It. Well, Dan, he's been trying to sneak yeah. my stats. Like Dan that. said that you know he was shooting in a circle. I had to see like what just right yeah. off the top of the smart. head. That was yeah. smart. Yeah. All right. Yeah. He was ready. He was ready. We shouldn't have told him that. No, I, I, I think he thought I was gonna forget, but that's who he's gonna take now because that's what the first thing came to mind. Okay, Dan. Three bad opinions. Okay, I'll start with one. Did you guys bring one? I'm ready. Okay. Here's my bad opinion. I think the Houston Texans are going to beat the Bengals this week. I also don't can't believe that you guys fell for the t- the Tank Dell fake name. That was crazy. Are you serious? I was wondering if you got it. Was that a fake name? Golly. Well, whose name is Tank? Tank. No, I don't know. That's a cool name. Oh, yeah. So, Jerry, did you know he was doing that? That's exactly that? what we see here. Did you know he was doing that? We don't know about what. It, yeah. Because hey, like I was like, somebody's got to talk. I'm like shaking my head like somebody's got to say something. So did he hit you too? Huh? Well, yeah, I didn't know who that was. Jerry. So, Tank. When did he even drop hey, that Jerry. name? I don't yeah. even think hey, that was during Texans. Hey, uh, Bengals Texans talk. Bengals. Hey, Jerry. Yeah. They fell for it again. I know. That was so good. Tank tells real. What? He's so good. He's so I, good. I did not know that we name. We gotta end this show. Let's look <laughs> up Tank Dell's stats for the first. I did not know home. that name, so I, I just yeah. Here, like some, I'm Wait, shaking my head like Houston. sure. The they problem fell is for I have twice. Way too much respect for BC. Yeah, he fell. They like, fell for it no, twice. So here's, here's the so thing: is that this. Jerry, like I, I'm usually the only one that can hear Jerry before like he actually starts talking on the mic, and so he was agreeing with Danny immediately. So I was like, he, this has to be a real person. So I'm shaking my head at Taylor, like, come on, man. 114 yards, two TDs last week. Tank Dell, pretty good. Yeah. Here, look. So you Tank said Del. we Tank, got that's Tank Dell. Game winning touchdown as well. Looks like a Tank his, Del. his actual name is Nathaniel, which good job switching to Tank. <laughs> so you said it, we agreed, and then you're like, hey, that was a fake name. And we're like, oh shit, you got us. And I'm like, no, no, it's actually a real Yeah, name. Yes. double got you. You got got, I got got, <laughs> Taylor got got. I think there's a way to look at this, Will, where it's kind of like a not a not a real got. It's a guy. It was no, like, it's no, a guy. it's double guy. Yeah. I'm also, I also, I also should say, I it's also like, should it's say. Like Moments they want to take the, take the, they see it, they can take is, the shot. Yeah, I also down, should say. Let's just bring it up for a okay. second. It's a, I got it's you. a real name. We, we don't know if it's a real name. It is. And then we say, we're like, yeah, he's going to get right. us with a fake name. It, these are, then these he said it was a fake name. And then he said it's a fake name. Yes. And then said, ha ha, got you. Again. But. It's not a fake name. It's not a fake name, which brings us back to the original thing was where. We don't know if you're getting us or not getting us, because technically we're still in a gray area. This no, is, it's a real name. It's, he real just it's a real name. Google. He just showed it. I know yeah. it's a real name. No, no, no. I understand. But we started I, I with not saying. knowing if it was a real name or not and refusing to get got, essentially. Right, we're but like nervous. then I got you. Because then you so said, ah, oh, it is a fake name. I don't know. Oh, See, oh, the, you're, it's yeah. so much confidence in the way he talks. See, but I feel like there's so, we didn't I, really get got. I should admit, too, okay. we are as dumb as everybody thinks. Well, there's no question. The there's no question. <laughs> no, you, guys are, no. you guys are playing at a disadvantage no. today. I'm teasing myself. No, right. no, I know. I'm saying give yourself some more you're credit. Playing, think about it. You're playing at a disadvantage today because I am low on sleep. I'm a little goofy. I'm a little loopy. And my four-year-old son, we've been we've been on a real tricking phase where he's like, mm. I tricked you, I tricked you. Like I'll, I'll I'll drive him to school in the morning and I'll go around the car to to open up the door and take him out and he'll have his eyes closed and I'll be like, Are you awake? And he's like, Tricked you. 
So <laughs> I've been in a little trick. You know, we've been tricking been people. Tricky move. We've been tricking been people. Pranking he got me people. actually though. We were we were running home from t-ball practice, and he fake fell. And I was like, oh my God, are you all right? He popped right back up and, and beat me. Did he say he tricked yeah. you? Yeah, he tricked me. Nice. That's nice. Yeah, no, uh, I agree with you, Taylor. I don't think you guys got got. I have to say, I was happy that in, on this show, I'm just the host so that I didn't have to weigh in. Because if this was the college show, I would have also gotten roasted for that. So thank you for Jared, taking that uh, battle. Mentally, running the, mentally running a little man we got got. Yeah. Little, but I yes. feel like the result on the outside, we didn't necessarily mm, get got No, yet. you got got twice. Internally, I've been got twice, this whole show. Twice. I mean, Jerry and I are running <laughs> a little pick and roll. Jerry, Jerry's nervous. looking at me. We're passing the ball back. Yeah, it, it was phenomenal. Yeah, it's also not fair that he's got... You guys uh, essentially to, Dr. Evil and his You know what the problem is? Sure. You guys sure. have to you guys have to come and spend a Sunday in the gambling cave because you'll learn all the names because we bet on all the names. Every name. Who did who There's did, nothing who'd you, who'd more you, fun who'd you throw, than who'd you throw me a gambling cave and doing yeah. like Gilliam. Drive yeah, Gilliam. Say, who's the name? Gilliam. Who's the name he threw out? I was like, we bet on a Buffalo Bills uh, tight end because goal line Dawson Knox was out. I texted these guys like I'm thinking it's a Gilliam night. He never. We were in the Dawson third, knocks out goal line touchdown. We were in the third quarter. I was like, "Is Gilliam black or white? I haven't seen him." <laughs> we had to look him up. Bills are on the half yard line. They come out in eleven person. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you learn a lot of names. And how you did I, a lot of names. I just trust I mean, throw names out. Every, like I blind loyal. The worst yeah. of names too. I love yeah. that everybody behind the camera. Everyone's just shaking their head. Everybody yeah. knows. knows just this learn, names get thrown around on in that gambling cave on Sunday. Like, who's in your touchdown parlay? Just throwing names around left and right. He's betting Kyle Ushek to score touchdowns. Like. <laughs> Crazy shit. It's a fun. Th- yeah, it's fun going. Uh, yeah. Uh, are there any? Tonight will be fun. Yeah. Are there any more bad opinions before we move on? Dabble fired. Oh. After a bad loss. This oh. Clinton didn't Clinton Portis say that last he week? Did. Oh, did he say that? Yeah, but no, I I, I like it because they didn't get fired. He though. didn't get fired, so oh. Clinton Portis is wrong. But I like. You're d- you're doubling down on it. I think you have to fire everyone. Like the GM's got to go. That Daniel Jones contract is going to be one of the yes. worst ever. Terrible. Ever. Mm. Ever. He just won coach of the year. I think, yeah, bad opinion, but we're taking out the rest of the year ones. But Belichick? Mm, there's rumors that if they don't win, he's not getting on that plane. He's staying in Germany. That's what they said. <laughs> Leaving him in Germany. Yeah, his well, I mean, U.S. citizenship will be who, no longer. There was someone who got fired on an international game. That's got to be the worst thing ever. Yeah. But I'm saying well, maybe for, not for the end. Wasn't it, was it urban? But if you're on the plane, it's got to be the worst. You got to get the information before you step on the tarmac. Right. I'm saying the end of the year when they go either what four and thirteen. Yeah. The whole you know they clean house. Mm-hmm. I mean you got Billy O, Patricia, Joe or Joe Judge, right? Yeah. Belichick, like that's the culture's over. Yeah, but Northeast very G- complacent. In Boston right now. Well, he, got, he brought him six Super Bowls. Do they? Yeah, they're probably got, he you probably got goodwill. What happens? Bill Belichick's a guy that resigns. If they fire Bill Belichick, do you have to fire Steve Belichick too? That would be awkward. You got to wipe the slate clean. That'd be very funny. Hey, if he didn't get fired. Hey, if his son didn't get yeah. fired. Steve, we're going becomes to interim plans. We haven't done these yet, but we yeah. just want you to know we are going to retain you. Yeah. Your dad, Father, gone. Do you want to do it? or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you, you want to give him the bad news? He says, no, you guys go ahead and do it like it's already. Yeah. I'll stay here with you guys. Yeah, yeah, I got it. He is the problem. Good call by you guys. <laughs> I've been saying it my whole life. <laughs> All right, the Survivor Pool picks, it's still Dan and Jerry. Taylor, yep. we restarted the last time you were here. It started the slate clean, and you, you picked the wrong team. You picked well, the 49ers. Yeah. And, thousand so bucks. you technically owe either Dan or Jerry $1,000. It depends on when what? one of us wins. Yeah. I owe $1,000? Yeah. Yes. If, if, the, if one of us wins. Was it wins, here for that? Yeah. It was Kyle. It was Kyle. Oh. If one of us wins, Sorry. whoever's on the show that day will have to owe us from the guest chair. So it could still be you. I have a question. Yeah. I think I have a bad opinion, but oh. does it have to be this week? Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> I'm right. thinking about it too much. <laughs> I know that's what's funny as we went to the next segment. Well, because he said it. he didn't have one, so I was no, like, well, I'm, I'm yeah. not going to no, force no, no, him no. to have one. All right. One. I yeah. tried to help you out. Josh Dobbs uh-huh. will be a pro bowler in the next yeah, that's two a bad years. Opinion. Okay. Well, voted? Voted. No. That's a bad opinion. A pro bowler. No. Then I don't. I, then who, who, who the fuck Maybe knows? Mac Jones is Zach a pro Wilson bowler. might be a pro bowler. But is it a bad opinion? It's a, it's a bad opinion that makes you think. Well, no, which is because the best everyone, type of opinion. Everyone best type of bad opinion. Go to the Pro Bowl. And then yeah. you get to Tyler Huntley was a pro bowler last year. Mac Jones. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's, it, that's a two year bad opinion. It's kind of. That's why I asked. Does it have to be like a this week thing? That's what we were trying to. Because BC was having a lot, which we should go back and see if some yeah. of those. See how some of those. Yeah. Up. Yeah. He wanted to interject his bad opinion. I like. I mean, it's a, it's a good shot. Yeah. 
bad opinion. So I answered the call. <laughs> well, was it a bad, bad opinion? did it. You did it. I did it. You crushed it. I'm proud of that. It's a bad, bad opinion? Yeah. Okay. It's a bad, bad opinion? I would have loved hearing him say somebody gets traded now that the mm. deadline's over. Mm. Yeah, but that would be an opinion that doesn't exist. An opinion that can exist. Yeah. Survivor picks. Survivor picks. Survivor okay. picks. So Jerry and Dan are still alive. Jerry, I always ask you, do you want to go first or go second? First. You want to go first this time, okay? Oh, Cowboys. Well, I could take the Cowboys too. You could, if you want to. But then, if that if that happens, then who gets the money? I mean, last week you took an eight and a half point favorite, and I took like a two and a half, three. You know. What are you trying to say? You see that little I'm arm sorry, motion? I, I hey, took, that, that arm risk. motion means I hey, took a risk last hey, week. now you take the risk, I take the, exactly. the less risky. That's well, some would say that I took a risk risk. because we're playing uh, Survivor Pool for a thousand bucks, and I just loaned you fifteen k. Oh gosh, that's true. So you bringing up bank statements right yeah, now? This, this way. Oh, he said to me the other day, he's like, what if I win Survivor League or the Survivor Pool? We just cut that off my, what I owe you? I was like, I guess. Yeah, cut it off the top. Every time I'm here, there's multiple stories about Dan giving you money. Yeah. What's the deal, Jerry? Well, uh, who's, I'm who's happy to do it, by the <laughs> way. Who's, I, who's no, no, Jerry, no, this is not, this is not, this not, I'm not saying that Jerry was like, hey, the interest rates on my credit cards is insane. I want to pay it off. I was like, yeah, no problem. Like, that was... That was it. Move. Right, right. Yeah. That was it. But now he's trying to shame me out of picks for a thousand bucks when it's like, well, you You just gotta remind him. You gotta you're playing with my money you right now. You're playing with my money. <laughs> you want me to switch? He hasn't even said his pick. Just I'll let him say his pick. pick. No, you're playing with my money. No, no, you don't have to switch it. I'll switch. I no, you don't have to switch it. No, no, no. No, no, you don't have to switch it. Did you know he was gonna take the Cowboys? Yeah, yeah he knew. Jerry. <sighs> the man just gave you 15k. This, this is a game, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I might take the Bills. No. Go Bills. Yeah, of course. I took them in the last Survivor pick that I lost. Go Bills. No, I think you took the 49ers. I got a pick. I took the 49ers in the last pick. I got a pick. Oh. I know what he's going to do. Go Niners. I got a pick. I know what he's going to do. I oh, already no. know. What do you think I'm going to do? He's going to go Bears. I know you, what you're going to do. What do you think he's going to take the Packers? I know what he's going to do. He's going to take the Packers. He's going to take the Packers. No. Oh. oh. I thought so too, Jerry. I'm taking the Bears. <laughs> we'll find out on, uh, when we oh, watch no. Friday night. Taking the Bears. By the time this airs, we'll now be that's out. a risk. Mm -hmm. That is. Risk. You want you call me out. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll take the Bears. They're not losing tonight. They are not losing tonight. Clip that. How much are you willing to bet on that? Well, I already bet twenty grand on it. So. No, you didn't. And no, apparently, fifteen k over there too. Jerry, you're in on the Bears. Me? I'll ride with Dan. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to run. 50, no, no, 15. No, 15. Yeah, I'm ready to strap in. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's going to put his, oh, minus three. his loan on it. We're going to get really special milkshakes. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to cook up a nice parlay. I don't, I can't afford, afford 15. I'm 15 down right now. In the hole. No, Jerry, yeah, Jerry, you're fine, Jerry. You're good. Your money's good with me. I'll ride the Bears, though, tonight. You yeah. just, you get in the foxhole. That man's yeah. Good. Yeah, no, I, that was a, you, you thought you were making a move and then I just fucking. Slap my I mean, it's a big, it's a big play from you. So, yeah, and then wait. if the Bears lose, everyone's gonna watch this and be like, "This is the dumbest segment ever." Okay, but here's here's my question too. If if you win, does Jerry owe you sixteen? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait, if if I lose, yeah, if, yeah, right. if I win. If you Dan lose. wins, then the yeah. loan, yeah. of course, yeah. you add to the yeah, loan. we already okay, you add to the tab. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're good. So Jerry now we're just like good. in real life territory. Now it's not just like a game; it's just this real is, life. Yeah, this yeah. is real life is into the Survivor game now. Yes. And by the time this airs, we'll know if real life is happening for Jerry or not. Well, it, it also, I should clarify, because if people, I assume people watch advisors before this. This isn't like something I'm like just saying out loud. Jerry and I had this, the loan discussion on advisors last week. So yeah. it was content from the yes. beginning. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I assumed okay. you wouldn't and actually. It's content because I know right. it's, if Jerry was like, I got, like, I'm in a really bad spot. I need 15K. Correct. Like, don't say anything. I would never say anything. Yeah, I don't care. It's no. credit cards. Like, well, that yeah. makes sense. Like, I'd rather him. Pay me back slowly, then have to fucking oh, yeah, no. jammed up by a bank. The, Fuck the bank. Absolutely. Fuck, Fuck the bank. Fuck the bank. That's my bank. Yeah, Fuck the bank. That's the my bank's bank. right here. Yeah, no, like Fuck actual real life shit. Yeah, no, if he said it, if he but said But like he this is it. like real life that's content. Right. If he needed it and like was like, I need it and I can't you can't ask any questions, like no problem. Yes. Don't say anything. But yeah, fuck the banks. Fuck, fuck the banks. This is our this is our showing that we we can we can say fuck the banks, take the power back. Power yeah. back to the Fuck people. the man. Yeah, power's back to the people. <laughs> Fuck the man. Exactly. There you go. All right, anything else, guys? No. Great that's show. A, that's a, great that's, that's that's a, a great, great finish. finish. Fuck yeah. the banks. Fuck the banks. banks. We've got college football to argue about anyway. So enjoy your NFL weekend. We'll see you next week.